Hi, I'm Anmay Gupta, a senior at Conan High School, and I'm here to present Sky Robotics, a way to revolutionize robotics education for classrooms. Now, first off, let's go over how robotics is actually taught right now. Now, there are over 318,000 students in robotics competitions nationwide, but these robots either require powerful computers or are just inconsistent and frustrating. What that means is that students that don't have access to powerful computers meant to program these robots either don't have access or they just end up leaving because after all the work they went through, they don't get any results. In fact, Former National First Level League participants have found that robots were so finicky they didn't learn anything, and elementary schoolers have even found how coding always felt imaginary, and they could never connect with it. That's where Sky Robotics comes in, a way to revolutionize robotics education by, producing, by providing ground-level control and sky-high performance. Sky Robotics is made up of three parts, the website, the robot, and the curriculum, each of which serves to create a powerful educational experience. Now, while this is a high-level overview of how this all works, let's skip that and see how this actually works in the real world. This is the Sky Robotics landing page, and as you can see, I can either go to the dashboard or create a new project. I'm going to go to the dashboard, load in my old projects from a database, and then go to this project and see how it actually works. As you can see, this is a simple loop, and it's actually covered how to make this in the code here. In fact, there's also documentation allowing for uh, specific commands to be sent. So I'm just going to hit run and see how this works in real time on the robot. As you can see, it moves around and runs twice just like we expected. This is the power of Sky Robotics, and we can even create new files, such as this, to add more code in, or we can uh, share our work with other, with other people. After that quick demonstration, let's go through how each part of the app actually works. As you can see, we have a couple of features from Firebase, including loading from a long-time storage system, a real-time database, and an authentication server to actually ensure full security. Then, on the website, the code that we just wrote is written in a custom language using a Pythonic syntax that then it gets sent to the ESP32 chip, the main processor in the robot, to ensure consistent performance without any issues. What that means is that a Chromebook or an iPad could run this, and they wouldn't suffer any worse than a desktop computer. Then, on the robot itself, it uses robot feedback, including this control sensor here, on a background thread coding in C++ using I2C communication on a custom circuit board to actually run code on the server, on the servos, and using the transpiled Python code that the student coded. This allows for an engaging student experience where code takes shape in real life. So here's the basic flow of code. First, the student codes, it gets optimized in the website, then it gets transpiled on the robot, run on the robot using the custom circuit board that I designed, and then a robot uses a C++ thread and PID control to move without drifting or moving around ensuring consistency. In fact, I've taken this, this robot to schools and actually demoed it in real life, presenting to over 45 students. And of those 45, 41 of the students were able to complete and exceed the assigned task without anybody expressing confusion about instructions or expressing teamwork issues. Thank you for listening.